You know, he's a real good player, senior, a vet. So I matched up with him uh, last year and first time this year. But uh, his quickness and speed and experience really uh, poses a threat. So I was just glad I got the assignment tonight, you know, and uh, did our right job on him. So it was a good win. Coach thought it was your best performance defensively you since you've been here. Do you kind of feel the same? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's what they that's what he's asked for me, you know, the past few games. All year, really, was uh, to lead uh, – Lead the perimeter attack uh, defensively and um, uh, be a leader for, uh, through pressure and help defense uh, both sides. So it felt good uh, that he, he said that and I was able to, you know, execute what he wanted me to do. Um, you know, I, I don't try to get too much into the one-on-one -on -one matchup, but uh, you always know through the scouting report and you know the player you're playing. So obviously you can get up a little more for for a player like Hank and um, uh, just trying to keep it consistent now. You know, that's what they, they that's what they need from me right now is a little defensive intensity. So, uh, like I said, it's just a good feeling to have one of those games defensively against such a good player and just keep it rolling now. Since the league play began, you've been more aggressive offensively also. Can you talk about what's changed? Uh, I think uh, you said it, the key word there is just aggressiveness, you know. Just been more aggressive and um, – taking a more active role on both ends of the floor, not being overly aggressive. You know, first half, I think I took a couple uh, tough shots, you know, and got into a little bit of uh, better rhythm and let my defense lead to some offense and uh, just getting confidence that way. I'm trying to just be balanced and, and lead a very good team who already has a lot of talent. So, uh, you know, it's another good win for the week. We just got to hit the road now and keep up the defensive pressure, which is where it's really going to count. Talk about being aggressive. You guys eliminated the turnovers tonight, only 11. What's the key to the last few games being you know, that's just more mental than anything. Uh, pace of game, team you play doesn't really have too much to do with that. It's just uh, uh, keying in mentally, uh, same thing kind of defensively, really uh, hopping on them early and getting the confidence to, to be strong with the ball and uh, feed off one another. So we did a good job of that too. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, <clears throat> just going against Air Force, and it's a big game for us these next – these next two games that we are coming up is a big game because uh, San Diego State, uh, they dropped one. They lost at uh, CSU today, and uh, and that basically put us in the hunt. I mean, we're one game away from first place, and we need to get these next two and we'll be uh, back in shape. This 13-day stretch you guys run, what do you see different than the normal day-to-day -day stuff you guys do? Uh, this every it just practice is very intense right now. Coaches is very intense. I mean, every time we step on that court, he's 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 giving it his all, and uh, and that's what we're trying to do. We giving it we we giving it uh, all out on the court, and we just uh, trying to build some toughness out there, and just and just stay at it. <clears throat> you know, you look before that thirteen day stretch. You guys think there is stuff that you just weren't bringing from the practice court to the, to the game? Uh, yeah. I mean. Before that, I mean, we 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 kind of laid off a little bit. Our, our our toughness wasn't there, and uh, and we let those two teams uh, get us. So San Diego State and UNLV um, basically they out toughed us, and uh, and now I think we're showing a good stride, uh, showing good signs of uh, of toughness right now. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I mean. That's a good question. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can you can teach toughness, but the the players have to willing to want to be tough. You know, you can say that um, you know you can you want to do this and this, but if you're if you're just not tough as a player, if you don't have it as an individual, it's hard to be tough. Air Force? No, are you guys a tough team? I, I think, yeah, we're getting there. I, I, I think. Uh, no, nah, I'm not saying that we wouldn't. I mean, we had some, um, we showed some signs that we kind of just kind of laid off a little bit. You know, we didn't show our toughness through uh, that uh, San Diego State, best in, in UNLV. Um, but I think we're getting tougher. And I think we're getting a better ball club, too, as well. <coughs> Coach talked about you guys did a good job of not panicking today when uh -huh. Um, actually, uh, okay. Today we, I think we did a good job. Uh, 
we have players that stepped up. Tony did a great job today. He hit some cuts, uh, cuts threes, and uh, and also Kendall did a good job of uh, uh, shooting as well. I mean, that that really hurt uh, hurt TCU uh, towards the end. It's hard for them to make a run. Now for uh, just going in for Air Force, I think now we just have to switch our mindset to Air Force right now because Air Force is a difficult team. Uh, their uh, their offense is in, in, they have good offense. They really uh, move the ball and share the ball, and, um, and we just have to really pay attention to details against Air Force. You normally play the three, but you were playing the two for that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, actually, I don't really care. I'm just whatever they play me a guard guard position. I mean, doesn't really matter. <laughs>